Hi guys, I'm Barnaby Slater, this is Spurred On, and we are going to have a little special today. It is the top 10 players that Spurs should never have sold. We're going to do this in two parts. The first part is numbers 10 to number 6. Who are the players you're going to get in the top 10 of the ones that we just wish were still around, playing for our club and getting us into the top echelons of the EPL? So, number 10, I can tell you, is... Freddie Canute. Now, do you remember Freddie Canute? We bought him from those horrible guys at West Ham. Uh, we bought him for like four and a half million pounds. He was lethargic looking, laissez-faire on the ball, but by God was he a player. He scored that incredible volley against Everton at Wyart Lane. I was there. Incredible finish. And then we sold him to Seville for 4.4 million pounds. 4.4 for Freddy Canute, who went on to win UEFA Cups and become nearly top scorer in the Spanish Primera Liga. And we just got 4.4 million for him. We should never have sold him. Freddy, you should still be at the club, even though you're now 45 years old. Number nine of the players Spurs should never have sold is Sandro the Beast. Ho! Ho! The Beast! Do you remember that? You remember the, the video he shot in the changing room that went viral? What a crazy Brazilian defensive midfielder he was. He scored a couple of brilliant goals, one against Manchester United, one against Chelsea, huge game player. And he really gave us some stability in front of the back four. Sure, he had injury problems, of course he did. But in a team and squad missing leadership like we are now, I think Sandro the Beast should still be there. Well done, Daniel Levy, you did get nine million pounds for him, but I think he should never have left the lane. Number nine, Sandro. Number eight, Michael Dawson, Captain Courageous. He would throw himself in front of a bus for Tottenham Hotspur. We sold him to Hull for just three and a half million pounds. Now I know what some of you are saying. He didn't have the pace to deal with the high pressing game that Pochettino wanted to play. So he had to go. I totally disagree. We got in Federico Fazio instead. Now I think Fazio could come good, but does he have the pace to play the high pressing game? No. Does he throw himself in front of the bus like Dawson used to? No, so I think Dawson should have stayed. He should be our captain still. He should be the leader. What a legend. And now he went to Hull and he got relegated. It's a shame. I wish Dawson was still there. Michael Dawson, number eight. Number seven of the players that Spurs should never have sold is Nicky Barmby. Now, yes, this is a bit of a throwback. We're talking about late 90s, early naughty stuff. But Nicky Barmby came up through our youth academy and he was in the famous five that played under Ozzy Ardiles when we had Jurgen Klinsmann, Teddy Sheringham, Ili Dimitrescu, Darren Anderton and Nicky Barmby. He was young, he was raw, but he was brilliant and we sold him to Middlesbrough. He wanted to go up north, he said, but surely Middlesbrough, he went on to play for Liverpool and Everton and better clubs, but even though we got 5.25 million pounds for him back in the day, which was a huge sum of money, we should never have let Nicky Barmby go. He could have been a Tottenham legend. Number six of the players that Spurs should never have signed. This is a real throwback. A lot of people won't remember this, but Graham Souness. Graham Souness was a youngster at Spurs. He was one of the hardest players in football. He could have led us to any numbers of trophies over the years, but instead we sold him again to Middlesbrough, this time for only 300 grand. Yeah, it was back in the day, but surely, surely we should have just given him anything to stay around. He ended up at Liverpool, won the European Cup. He won leagues, he won everything, and now he is one of the highest revered pundits as well. He could have been talking about Spurs instead of banging on about Liverpool. Number six in the players we should never have let go, Graham Souness. That was the first five in my list of the Spurs players that we should never have sold. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Also, go to part two of this where you'll see the top five players that I think Spurs should never have let go. This is part two of the top 10 players that Spurs should never have let leave the lane. Number five.